What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you some really cool Siri shortcuts along with the If This Then That application and some really cool applets that are basically the equivalent to some awesome shortcuts. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So before we get started, if you guys do not know, if this then that is basically the Siri shortcut alternative for iOS. This has actually been around longer than Siri shortcuts, so I'm going to be showing you both of these in this video and some awesome tips and tricks for both. So I'm just going to be calling them shortcuts throughout the video just because I'm too lazy to pronounce both. But starting off with a few Siri shortcuts to begin with, I'm going to be showing you this really cool one. So if you tap on this, you get to say a movie using the dictate text feature using Siri, and it will basically instantly come up with IMDB ratings, and then it'll pull up a web page of reviews. So if you don't want to have to search the website and things like that to see if a movie was worth watching or not, and then you will immediately get reviews for the movie. This one's pretty good if you can't decide between a friend if you should choose something or not. So if you tap on this, you can choose to roll a dice or to flip a coin and Siri will give you the answer through speech. Also, this one is relating to speech as well through Siri. If you tap on it, it reads the entire B-movie script. It's kind of pointless and a little outdated, but it can't hurt to have. Now, here's an actual useful one. If you tap on it, it takes the most recently 25 played songs and puts them in a playlist inside of your iTunes library, which is awesome. Now moving on to the if this then that application, we've got some really cool widgets. So this one you instantly tap and you can email yourself a note. Look at this UI. I think it looks amazing. So I have a lot of video ideas constantly. So this would be very useful for me. Also, I've reached the limit on YouTube. You can only have 5,000 liked videos. That means on the 5,000 and first video, it is not saved. This shortcut alternative right here is able to take the most recently liked video and save it in a Google spreadsheet. Now you will need to sign in with your Gmail in order for this to work. So this Siri shortcut alternative will also send you the top rated apps for the week inside of the app store through an email. This is really easy to set up. You just need to type in your email and then turn it on. And those are the top if this then that shortcuts. Now moving back to Siri shortcuts, if you tap on this one, it'll instantly make a GIF after you select the frame rate you want. You can choose a photo. You actually have to choose a burst photo from your photo library. And then from here, you can go ahead and create an awesome GIF. So this is really good if you just want to send it through text or email or something and you don't want to have to download an application and go through all that trouble. This next Siri shortcut is probably one of the most important. You tap on it and it will back up all your Siri shortcuts to your iCloud drive so that you never have to worry about losing a shortcut if you get a new device or anything along those lines. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.